Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. All right, it is time for this week's STEAM series, and our focus today is science. And our meteorologist, Amber Lee, is joining us with her story about an L.A. goat rancher. I've been wanting to do this gangster turn, this gangster lean, <laughs> where I can turn around and look at you because we're in the studio now. Yeah, yes. looking good. Yes. That was like a nice, smooth little turn. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about goats. Raising goats is no small task, and for the owner of 29 Oaks Ranch in Agora, it's her lifelong passion. Oh, Mama, you are almost ready, aren't you, girl? There's no doubt about it. Spring is in the air at 29 Oaks Ranch in Agora Hills. This little mama here is pregnant, and I think she's about ready to give birth. And she's not the only one. Several of these does are in the final stages of pregnancy. Within a few weeks, new life will abound here. We're on baby watch right now. It's coming to be time. Meet Lynn Metro, owner and goat rancher in chief. These goats are with me their whole life. <laughs> their primary job, human companionship. We sometimes have children with disabilities that come here to hold the baby goat. But Lynn's bread and butter, her goat-themed tea parties. Who comes? Mostly it's just folks like you and me that love goats. I want to play with them. I want to have fun with them. <laughs> And they do. Of all the STEAM disciplines, goat raising and goat ranching rely mostly on science. It's called animal husbandry, and that means taking care of animals. Lynn studied nursing in college and spent more than 20 years taking care of people and delivering babies. With goats, they kind of do things differently than people. There's not that much screaming and things that I have seen working as a nurse. Still, we help them through the birth. If a baby is really small or if a mother has more than one, we bottle feed them. But most of the time, they stand up within minutes and they're pretty self-sufficient right away. Working as a nurse gave Lynn the paycheck and skills necessary to make a living, living her dream. There's a lot of skills to master, how to use the equipment, the medications, how to administer them. There are times where we have to immunize and I have the skill to do that. School wasn't easy for Lynn. She tells students struggling like she once was not to get discouraged. Sometimes our disabilities lead us in the direction of our career choice. You know, like a person who has a love of animals but isn't really doing that well in school. Maybe they should be outside taking care of animals and I'm sure the path will present itself. If, like Lynn, that path leads to goat ranching. It's so much fun and it just kind of rounds out my life. 